What's up guys, Cyclone here for the Cyclone in Space YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at the new winter update for Halo Infinite. Now, Halo Infinite's got kind of a storied past this past year. It kind of came out on a high and then dropped down because there was a lot of pieces that still weren't in the game that should have been at launch. And the team has been putting in work to try to get things back to where they should be. It's taken way too much time, a uh, sentiment I agree with, but today they pushed out their new big winter update that kind of pulls together a lot of these pieces and today I wanted to take a quick look at some of the challenges and the small battle pass they put out for that. So as you can see on the screen here, this is just kind of the challenge overview. Um, one thing they did do with these new challenge system is they finally brought back per match challenges and per match XP. So when Infinite came out, it kind of went on this whole XP based system that was, hey, once you complete a match, you don't get XP, you get them from doing challenges. So a lot of games have challenges, but most games that have challenges also give you XP for completing a match or doing well in a match. So they finally added that, and that seems to be working pretty well. There's not much really to show on it, but you can also see, you know, they've got various different challenges that you can switch out and things like that. So uh, the main thing I want to look at, though, is the battle pass. So this is bringing some of the items, I think, that, that go along with that Reach season that was season one that maybe didn't come out at that time, and just some newer stuff. So right off the bat, you can see we've got a new core, the Mark V, B version and this one I think is and I'm probably gonna get corrected on this uh, one that Noble Six wore in Halo Reach similar at least um, so as we click through you can just see we've got different things like emblems I might use this one because it kind of goes with my cyclone space theme I think but I've always been um, attracted to the to the emblems that have the little tornado pattern or something that looks like that um, next we get a, a new chess piece overlay and my only qualm with these is I wish you could put the color on these as well I know they're meant to be attachments, but it'd be cool if you could make that blue We'll have to see what it looks like with different patterns and stuff. You've got the uh, the big <laughs> the big arms the SAP SAC arms I remember these from older games some people would be running around with the giant monster shoulder pads and look like tanks coming at you of course you get some of your XP boosts and things like that that you can use as you can see on the screen right there I have 45 minutes still going because I activated one before the first match I played <clears throat> another emblem you get here uh, for the vehicle so this first one I think is you can see in the lower right corner it shows it's for your person second one has the little vehicle symbol down there with the steering wheel it's like a nice new shiny visor color they're bringing back the, uh, I don't even know how to say that, Chobham, Chobham, um, thigh pads. Those kind of, they remind me of the, the ones that went with the samurai gear in Halo 3. Uh, the CQB helmet is back. That's a fan favorite. I'll probably be rocking that one. I did, I used that one quite a bit. More XP, uh, the emblem for your gun. This is another qualm I have. I kind of wish the emblems when you unlocked them were for everything. Like, it just feels like it's kind of arbitrary taking up a slot, but... Um, you get some knee pads. There's some, uh, more giant shoulder pads. I guess this is the pack for you if you're into giant shoulder pads. This is your pack. So you get both sets of those. Jeez, those look huge, man! Should give you extra damage or something. Um, XP, and then here's the matching one for your player card, which is where I'll probably use it. More shoulder pads. These are still pretty massive, but at least they kind of fit the body shape a little bit better. Those are kind of nice. Uh, the CQC helmet, which is also a throwback. More XP. Another epic visor bullfrog I know some of the qualms overall have been that the visor colors like you unlock one and it looks very similar to another one so that's kind of uh, that kind of sucks but um, more visor colors you get a moa salt color overall it's this tan and black color it looks like not bad for sand maps or something another little chest add on here 
and another helmet attachment type for the uh, the helmet we already I believe you've already unlocked so it gives you kind of a little visor thing oh this is also a throwback I believe so here's the giant shoulder pads with the knife on it that I believe George wore in Halo Reach he had a knife on his and you could wear it on both sides I'm sure that won't look ridiculous at all this is just the, it looks like just the knife if you don't want the giant shoulder pads. Looks like a weird way to carry a knife, but I guess if you're reaching up with your right hand to grab it, it just looks like it might chop your own neck off if you fall wrong. And the Mark V helmet overall for the final piece. Now this battle pass is a shorter one. It's supposed to be kind of a, just a small winter one. Um, what you can do is on the screen you'll see switch battle pass so I can jump. I already finished season one, but if I hadn't I could go do that. I could equip Season 2 Battle Pass, which I haven't finished, or this one. So you can't apply XP to all of them at once, but it is nice um, that you can jump back and forth. Games like Fortnite, once the Battle Pass is done, it's done. You can't get those items anymore. That does give it an air of exclusivity, but people don't have that much time these days, and some of these Battle Passes take forever, especially Halo is one of the longer ones. So that's, uh, that's some of the overall look at the battle pass of the winter update um, quickly some of the other things that came to the winter update is they uh, finally added the campaign network co-op and mission replay for single player so if you want to play co-op over the internet with friends you can finally do that you can also replay missions I know that was hard because it was this is kind of an open world game so getting that dialed in so that's out, there's the uh, Forge beta is out, and I've already seen some people make some crazy stuff with that, so I'm curious to see once playlists get up updated with Forge, what those will look like. You got the new battle pass that we went through, um, the match XP and progression, and there are two new maps, Argyle and Detachment, and I'll try to make a video showcase showcasing, showcasing, and they have cake on the mind showcasing each of those as we go forward they also did a lot of sandbox and just general playlist updates things like that so that's all we're taking a look at for now stay tuned for videos hopefully showcasing the new maps but otherwise if you haven't subscribed to the channel i know i've changed the names a little bit but go ahead and hit that subscribe button on this channel i cover pretty much any games a lot of tech random stuff like that if you like fortnite check out at Fortbytes on YouTube, F-O-R-T-B-Y-T-E-S. That's my Fortnite-specific channel, and I do a lot of clips and just general stuff over there. So until next time, guys, keep it hanging.